previously. You are so much less cool Hello, than this guy. Why Just have so you come? Know. I want to ask you one thing. We're in the midst of territorial warfare with the Freedom Faction. Uh, if you could penetrate the territory and steal at least one such grenade launcher, I would reward you. Uh, do we want to be friends with the duty guys or the freedom guys? Hi guys and welcome to Yoni Plays Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. <laughs> That's a nice road sign. Mines. Doesn't sound like a good thing. Hello. What's up, rambling man? Looking to drop in at our place, huh? Okay, now there. I know Lushek is their leader, and I know that the cook is in the kitchen. Come up here. Wow. Let's have a look. <laughs> How surprising. You come in here and some dude goes, come up here, we'll have a good little chat. Compared to the duty base where some guy goes... Get out of here, stalker. We made him take my hike on the minefield naked. Should have heard Skinflint cursing when the dude's arm fell square of his head. Good initiative. I don't know why it makes a difference that you sent him out naked, because, I mean, if you walked out on the minefield in your clothes, your arm would also fall off. That's right, Johnny, you told him. Um, in there. Is this- oh, look! Now, if I didn't know better, I would say that it says boner. <laughs> but in Russian, this is not what it means. I actually don't remember the the Russian letters. I learned them once upon a time, long ago. Mostly for fun, because I do strange things for fun. But I don't remember anymore, at all, so... I am forever going to read that as boner. Hi. I'm... Um, Do we want to tell him that? Is this the person we want to be? A tattletale? A, a snitch? A two-timer? I don't know. Can't you, You're not gonna let me walk in there, are you? No. But I want a reward for my brave fighting the bloodsuckers. You suck. I'll think of something. Just you wait. Now that we're here, we're gonna climb this tower and we're gonna sit down and read more diary. In my excellent Russian... Oops. Ah. Empty. Can I... can I get in here? Nope. I can see forever! Okay. We were at... Strelok Stash. Well, it seems that the stash gave me a new direction to follow. I found the flash drive with what appears to be a diary used by Strelok's group. I have to do the manly voice because the, the, ma the marked one is clearly a man. Despite the few entries, I could not work out- I could work out that the group had two other members, Ghost and Fang. The diary also mentioned a mutual friend, but I don't know whether he was a part of the group. He definitely helped them out, that's for sure. According to Ghost's entry, Fang died when they were ambushed, so at least- so at last I have something solid, the name of someone who definitely knows Strelok, Ghost. <coughs> As for Strelok himself, he may be somewhere in the north of the zone. I 
I met up with the barkeep. Having looked through the documents from the institute, he thinks that this X-18 is in the so-called Dark Valley and asked me to go there to look for information and documents. He says that he sent duty scouts to get into the underground vaults, but that they have disappeared. The barkeep thinks they were captured by bandits who have a ba base nearby. If that's true, everything those duty guys found will be in the hands of Borov, the leader of the bandits also known as the Boer. <clears throat> the barkeep told me to be careful, and clearly didn't tell me everything about those underground vaults. Oh well, time to get to work. First of all, I need to go to pay Borov a visit, and if the conversation goes well, I'll explore the underground. The conversation went extremely well. Borov spoke, spoke uh, shotgun, surprisingly Similar to everyone else I've met who speaks shotgun, except for the bloodsuckers. Note to self, bloodsuckers, no shotgun. Hell, lab 18 wasn't fun. Was not fun. And its current residence, I didn't think things like that existed. I found some documents. I didn't understand much of what was written in there, except that they contained technical specification for some component components for Kaiman of emitters. What's, in what's interesting is that the parts were destined for another lab with the code name X16 and it's probably a secret one too. Yes, good, we're done. Um, what all of this is leading up to is obviously that everything terrible here, the mutant, the radiation, everything is like the result of human creation, of human hands. We have brought this on ourselves. That is such a stupid thing. I haven't brought anything on myself. I haven't made mutant monsters. Just because some humans are idiots doesn't mean the rest of us have to live with their fucking fuck-ups. Oh! Oh, uh, well, yeah, whatever. Hi! I'm sorry, I snuck around. You're... Um... If I knew what that said, I would say that this is your whatever it says there. Maybe garage? Mechanics place? Repair shop? The place where you take your stolen cars and repaint them and give them new tags? Screw. <laughs> Your name is Screw. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of exploring this camp, hoping for a miracle to happen so that I can sneak into that guy and get my reward. And this is the point where all of you turn to look at me very seriously and go, it is time to pick a side. And I'm gonna go, fuck it. Because I don't pick sides. I didn't pick sides in Skyrim. I won't pick sides here. Unless unless they will lit unless not picking sides will literally stop me from finding Strelok. And or if siding with one of them would let me resurrect Wolf or put a protective spell on Sparrow or let me resurrect Ghost so I could kill him again after I tell him how cool he is. I guess I have to... I guess I have to talk to the chef. People always say stuff like, you can't be neutral in this world, you always have to pick a side, you can't straddle the fence and be the guy that nobody hates. Um, or rather the guy that nobody loves, or that everybody loves, but I don't want everyone to love me, I just want to not be shot at by as many people as possible. And I'm okay with sacrificing a bit of trust and friendship if it means that neither of you will shoot at me. 
I don't need friends. I need people who don't shoot at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up now. Yep. Okay, I can't shut up. This guy, I like this guy. Slavic is my name. That's just a label. No, it's an apron. I've got this white apron. Hey, look, sit down. Don't be a target. Because that sniper, you know, pick you off. They're, you know, they're like that. I like you. You're crazy. I like crazy people. Probably because I'm crazy. You must. You simply must have. Yes! Victory! Because I drank all my vodka, see? For Wolf. At his funeral. We have achieved our goal here. I have something to tell me to relax. I got a so PSO1 scope. I would give you a lot of stuff if you could repair my stuff for me. Yep, because my armor is almost halfway gone now. This is a terrible scope. It's that scope that I can't use on my current guns. Or, oops, not intention. And that doesn't fit on that either. Well, what do you know? Put it on. So, there's another scope for this rifle. Game, there is a point where realism... ...has a screw. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? Do I have to betray them to talk to their leader? Because that is bullshit. Talk to Chef. I talked to Chef. Chef didn't have shit to say. He has a weakness for drink, so if I get a massive amount of vodka, which seems to be this Freedom Base's main concern in general, <laughs> then uh, yeah. I know exactly where there's a lot of vodka, but it's kind of far away. quite some distance. And besides, that's my vodka. I'm not gonna give it to some dude named Chef. So instead... Instead we're going to... If I sell out the duty guys, I can never go to the bar again. On the other hand, no one has to know that I sold them out. They're telling me to give away all my vodka. I can't do that. No sensible man or cross-dressing woman would ever do that. Give away the vodka. No. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Well, I'm still sweetly neutral, and then I'm going to say that... Put that piece away. What? The screw? You can have the screw. Here you go. Mm. 
no need to wave that in my face. Hello, mustache man. Skinflint. That's right. Um, I got a crystal. Saw some military propellers headed past the scorcher. Yeah, because there's protection now. Like magics and stuff. Look, everything that you don't under everything that you don't understand is magic, even if like it's science to some people who do understand it. Wow, wow. What is that? Something I probably don't want to fight. <gasps> A piano. Marked one, marked one. Can you play the piano? Take over. Go! No. Hello? You're Lukash. It's like Lucas. Except Lukash. <laughs> Fine, we'll have to teach you. So, Stalker, want to help us for a reward? Talk to Max, our chief. You two will get a crew together and root out those suckers. Um. Is this really a good idea? Have I thought this through? Because I shouldn't just do quests and then reload just to see what happens because that's here. like not Let's right. Have a chat. So Death to the enemy. Let's get him. Just why does it happen at the wrong time, eh? It's about time we got some exercise, huh? Not much Are we do, going to shoot any days. sweethearts this time? <laughs> Sweetheart. It's about time we got to whack someone. None of this, none of this, none of this is like my proper. Actually, go ahead. I have told you where the guys are. You just blocked my exit, didn't you? Nope. To the enemy. Let's get him. Fuck this. I'm not fighting anyone. I'm not stealing from anyone either. Chef is a good guy and I'm not gonna cheat him with vodka. I'm just gonna keep going to the Scorcher and disable it because I just realized that that's actually my, my, my main quest and I don't have to care about this bullshit. And, and that's what I'm gonna do. No political backstabbings, no stealing, no getting people drunk so they tell us their innermost Secrets. Why complicate? Stalker, you are approaching the barrier, so do not try anything funny. But we are happy to accept any help you can give. Everyone are so threatening, so unfriendly. Whenever you go somewhere, everyone's like. I get it, I get it. It's a helicopter. Look, 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 it's a helicopter. I was like, oh, you better watch yourself. You know, all those guns you're carrying around kinda says the... gets the message across. Oh well. It was a helicopter. Are you free on guys or are you free on guys? You have sparkly green shit on your. <laughs> now that would be something. A sparkly green military uniform with like glitter dust and uh, little diamond stars. If you had that, I would join you. Just so I could stab each and every one of you in the back. <laughs> and peel off the diamonds and buy myself a country and rule it forever we're fending off the monolith jerks and the next wave is almost here can you help? we'll pay back after the fight uh, and don't walk off too far or I might think you've decided to run off 
I um uh, I'm I'm not running off. I am with you. We are fighting monolith things. Yep. That's what we're doing. Um This seems like a sensible place. I can't even see what you're shooting at. What are you shooting at? That barrel. That barrel. That wasn't very tactical either. God, what kind of armor are you wearing? I got him. They all turn green. Oh no. Oh no. Is that duty guys for shooting? Let me just run up and check and die. No, it is not. Let me just fucking crap now the grenades don't work again. Hold on. Ow! Ow. That is so Oh, toss it out somewhere. How do I? Drop it. Right. Brilliant. Like a bullet, bullet in the back.